Hi Tango Dancer! In this video, we teach you how to combine a Tango Giro, so a Tango turn with a Sacada. And there is a bit of counter position in it that makes it super exciting. We love this movement. We will look at the, at the Giro and the close house embrace and we are go going to do this in a way that the, we create more power and more energy uh, doing the Giro on this house embrace. Uh, in the cross system, so it's really really cool. We we love this moment and it has a lot of a lot of energy and power on it. This is a great moment to change dynamics in the in the hero using more the volume of, of your partner, the volume of the body of your partner. So I'm um, here. I begin with the side step with the apertura, and then I I change my weight and I'm going to go in cross system. So I don't change her weight, but I change my weight. So I go in cross system with one step. And then from here, I'm going to pivot her and I'm going uh, to invite her to do the hero to my right, to the close house embrace. Uh, I'm going to invite her to go back, side. When she does the side step, I collect because I want to create the space for her. And then she collects and now when she goes forward, I go forward. This contraposition, this uh, idea of the contra hero going in the opposite directions. Uh, this gives a lot of power and energy to the moment as well. So here she goes forward, I go forward, and now we are going to pivot, and then I'm going to do a side step to do a sacada. So I'm going to find her, her right foot here. I find the contact, and then I transfer the weight, and then we finish with a small ocho. This is small ocho is kind of, I'm not, we are not stopping, yeah? so we are going to continue with this, and. It's a bit over pivot as well because I want to invite her to go back into the close embrace. So I'm going to invite her to step a bit back and then we finish together. We show you from another angle. So side, cross system, one step, and then we do back, side, forward, side, back, and we finish together. For the followers, it's very important that you are very active, very present in this movement, in your legs, having power in the turn. We speak about the powerful um, element of the turn for the follower a lot in this channel. So in the legs, you want to have power and also you need to be present in your embrace in order to help create this feeling of dissociation, pivoting together and really create the connection. In exchange the energy in the embrace. So we take a side step with them. Then they invite us to do a small back ocho and we always keep the connection. We are going to pivot, keeping the, the, the torso towards our partner. And this is when the hilo turn uh, starts. So we go back, side, forward. Our goal is to always move around him, tra um, tra tra travel around him and keep the same distance between him and me. So I'm not going to go here, otherwise I'm going to break the connection. I really keep the same distance between him and me. And I am also very present with my embrace. I go towards him, side, and here he's going to do the sacada. So this is the moment where you need to be very present and very powerful on your left leg, otherwise you are going to fall. So make sure you keep a good posture, a good alignment, relax your toes, relax your hips in order not to fall, pivot fully over pivot, take a small back step and end up in front of him. There is a lot for you in terms of um, power and also posture as a follower. So a little tip to help you do just that is to not fall and bend your knees and instead think of elongating, doing, going towards the, the ceiling, towards the, the sky in order to stay really straight. So now we show you in the tango embrace. As you can see, the embrace has a lot of participation here because we are using the flexibility of the embrace to create more power, more energy. And here uh, I'm, I'm proposing to Anne the, the, flexi the flexible embrace and she's taking that, that propose. She's accepting and using the space. So here I invite her and I can feel that she goes with her back. She opens her back so she finds my, my hand there. So when I invite her, she goes, you know, uh, using the, the back. Yeah? So it's not with intention forward. 
Yes, followers, you want to really use your back. So stay straight and really feel his hand against your back. So don't let this happen going towards him. Instead, this is really a moment where you can be straight. And at the same time, the both sides of your embrace are reaching towards him, um, not going floppy at all, so that you are really present and help him with all the pivoting. So you are exchanging energy in the embrace. So now, sure? now I want to show you with tango music and see how we use the flexible embrace and also put attention in the resolution, how in the last step, in the last uh, back step, we kind of finish the moment and we go back in, in the close embrace in a natural way. As a follower, as I am always striving to go back into the close embrace as soon as I feel that he's inviting me to do so. So I'm very active here as well. This movement is amazing because it's really a moment where we both become very active in the dance. We are very powerful and also super connected. So really playing with the feelings that we have in the embrace. So we really want to encourage you to try and incorporate it into your dancing. Even if it's a little bit challenging at the beginning, take it slow, break it down, and then you will see little by little it's going to work. Yeah, the important thing is to, to keep the fluidity and to begin the hero and to finish the hero, the, the turn uh, with, the, with the back ocho. So we kind of do all this in, in, in one go, no? with the sacada, uh, no, not to stop, no? to keep the flow, to keep uh, inviting your partner to do the hero. Now, if you want to keep learning with us, uh, movements like this and also technique or musicality. If you want to become a better tango dancer, make sure you join our Tango Space community by signing up to the Tango Space newsletter. We put the link in the comments and when you sign up, you receive a free tango video lesson every Saturday in your mailbox and where we help you become more connected, more musical, more creative, more confident in your dancing. And please keep learning and keep sharing your dancing because the world of tango needs your embrace. Absolutely. Thank you so, so much for being here and for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye. Bye.